gentleman I want to call to the front of the room, he's actually my mentor. Um, he actually showed me the ropes, uh, taught me this business, uh, saw me for who I can be and not for what I am, and I am the man I am today. He's taught me everything, um, and I owe my life to this gentleman. So without further ado, please help me welcome Master Distributor, your leader, your master servant, Mr. Timothy Herr. It, man, I'm, I'm so fired up. Uh, man, I love this. I, you, you guys have no idea how I, how much I love uh, watching people get recognized, man. Like to me, that's like the greatest enjoyment that I have in my life. You know, it is I mean, that's the that the, to me, it's a, it's that's the most exciting thing. You know, is to is to is to you know recognize people that are doing an amazing job and honor them and and just let people know how appreciative we are of the commitment that they make and. Right now is a very interesting time because today, right now, we're going to talk about some stuff that's going to help a lot of you explode your business. And what's amazing about what we're going to talk about, it's not only going to help you explode your business, but it's also going to help you change your life, okay? Uh, to me, I'm a big fan of, of, of not so much, hey, look, you know what? We've got to help you with our, your business. It's more about helping you with your life because if we can make you a better person, What's going to happen is naturally your success is going to become a reality. Now, the, the the fact of the matter is, most of the time people don't want to become better, right? Most of the time people are like, "Hey, look, you know what? I don't want to work on myself." Most people, what they want to do is point the finger at everybody else and say, "Hey, look, you know what? This, that, and the other thing." But the reality is, is that all you have to do is is really make a conscious, make a conscious, determined, really deliberate effort to to focus in on growing yourself, you know, and 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 understand that you know it's a responsibility as a leader to get. better. Better. It's a responsibility as a leader to, to work on yourself. And, and today I'm going to give you a chance to hear some stuff that I think is going to help a lot of you really skyrocket your business. And we put a lot into this training today. And I know that all of you have done an amazing job so far. But right now, this is really, a, to, right now, this is going to become a workshop where unfortunately it's not going to be a situation where, hey, I'm going to get up here and I'm going to train and exert a lot of energy. And you can watch me and look at me like a zoo animal, like, you know, what is this guy doing? We're actually going to ask you to participate, okay? So I, I really need your guy. I need your help, you know. But the the fact of the matter is, is I can't make you want to change your life. I can't make you want to get better. I can't make you want to get you know better than what you already are. Some of you are like, look, I don't need to get any better. I'm as good as I'm ever going to get. And the fact of the matter is, is when you're as good as you're ever going to get, the only thing you can go from there is down. You know, I, I adopted when I got involved in this industry was in 1996, and I was uh, working at Boomers go-kart track and I was making minimum wage there you know and I didn't want to I didn't want to work on myself you know I had a big ego and a small bank account how many of you know somebody with a big ego and a small bank account just raise your hands real quickly okay, look around the room if your hands on up you're probably the one okay so just <laughs> that was that was where I was one of those guys that you know that, that thought he knew everything and had absolutely nothing and I remember you know when I first got involved in this business I, I, I sat there with a giant ego and then what I realized was that I was broke and that I needed to pay attention and I needed to learn. And in 19, February 15th of 96, I got committed to a system. I got committed to a system that revolutionized my life. But what, 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 it, what excites me right now is that some of you right now that are here today, this is your first real training. Or you know, maybe you've been to a couple of SUs or maybe you've been to some Tuesday events or maybe this is your first region or maybe this is, you know, the regional that really that, uh, that door unlocks for you mentally where you're like, look, this is it. All out massive action from this point on, I'm gonna make it happen. And what's a wild about that is that next month you're gonna be walking up here as a silver. You'll be walking up here, you know, as a gold. And there's people right now that I already know, 100% without a shadow of a doubt, there's no way they can't get up here. I mean, literally, they've gotta have a plan not to get up here next month. You know, people like Aaron Delacruz, this guy is going to be silver. I, I mean, I would be willing to bet anything. I guarantee it. Aaron's going silver or like literally, you know, I, I, would be, I would be shocked. It's like, how did you not go silver? You know what I mean? You'd have to like lay out a plan like this is strategically how I'm not going to. You'd have to have a, a, a foolproof plan. Somebody like Zach Cheney, Zach right now, Zach guaranteed, guarantee you right now, Zach will be on this stage next month as a gold. Guaranteed. Yeah, and I know probably Zach's probably saying I should be up there right now, you know, but good news is our time, our time, our time machine's broken. 
you know, the flux capacitor doesn't work on my time machine, so we're not going to go back in time, but we're going to get committed today. And I guarantee if you get committed now, and that's, I'm, just, I'm just pointing out a couple people that I can just spot from a mile away and be like, wow, you can see it. It's, it's on them. But some of you right now, this weekend's going to change you. This, this event's going to change you. And you're going to come out of here more committed than ever before. You know, and in some of you today, right now, you're going to point back at this. Because I remember those trainings, man, back in the early days. You know, and I know, I know the, the leaders in the room, that like, you know, like Josh Denny. I know Josh can look back at the trainings back whenever he first got involved in the industry. Because this guy, talk about a legend. I mean, what he's been able to accomplish in his career in network marketing, I mean, it's unbelievable. And you, you see people like that, and you just know it's like there was, there was moments of decisions where you're sitting in a training and you say, you know what? I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to commit. And maybe it was 10 years ago. Maybe it was 15 years ago. Some of you, it's going to be today, though. What happens is you're going to commit, and then what happens is 15 years from now, you're going to look back at the commitment that you made. And I just get fired up because today, I know that it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a life-altering event, what's about to transpire in the next few minutes. Uh, when we get into this goal setting workshop. Some of you maybe have been in a goal setting workshop before. Some of you, it's gonna be hard for you because it's really out of your comfort zone. Okay, some of you, you're really, thank you sir, at, you're out of your comfort zone. You know, you're like, man, you know, that, you know, because you haven't been into personal growth and development lately. You haven't been into bettering yourself. So whenever you're asked to, you're out of shape mentally when it comes to personal growth and development. But if you have the guts to step up right now and you have the guts to participate in this training, then I'm telling you right now, your life can change. But it's not gonna change by accident. A lot of times people are like, man, I cross their fingers and they hope something good happens. The fact of the matter remains the same, that good things don't happen by accident. Do you guys get that? In order to have something good happen, it has to be a plan. And you've gotta first start off with that goal. So tonight, I'm fired up because this, this moment that, you know, right now is gonna alter many of your lives. And I just know what's gonna happen. Get, well, like when I got involved in the industry, man, I, my first time I ever went to a goal setting workshop, I always thought goals were for other people, people that were smart, people that were, that were a lot smarter than me. You know, I was the guy that didn't go to class. You guys with me? And if I did, I probably wasn't sober. Do you guys get that? I was one of those kids that, you know, my blood alcohol level, okay, was higher than my GPA. Do you guys get it? So, you guys remember that guy, right? So uh, the reason why I'm here today is because of a lot of personal growth and development. That's what it was for me. And what more than any other aspect of personal growth and development is, 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 the, is, is this aspect is simply this, is that, you know, it, it starts off by understanding that, look, th th look, this is where I was when I first got involved in the business. This is what I started off like. In 1996, that was me when I got involved in network marketing. So f to go from there to here took a lot of personal growth. It took a lot of desire to want to change my life. And some of you right now, your heart's on fire. Some of you right now, you're so fired up because you're like, look, I'm ready to make it happen. I'm ready to change my life. I'm ready to step up. I'm ready to get committed. I'm ready to go all out. I'm ready to commit myself right now because you know what? I'm ready. This is it. This is my time. This is my chance. And I'm about to make a decision right now today that's going to set forth the motion, the momentum that's going to change my entire life. And my family tree is not going to be what it was prior to this event, prior to this decision. And it starts off with a decision. So what I want to do is I want to jump in this goal setting workshop. When I got into this, when I got into the industry, I went to a goal setting workshop just like this. And what happened that day was I, I got a chance to go through what I'm about to go through with you. And it, it, it revolutionized everything for me. And I know some of you right now, it's uncomfortable for you right now. Some of you want to, you're like, oh God, I'm going to be asked to do something, you know, and you're, you want to kind of just stand up and walk out and, you know, kind of hide and, you know, cower. But what I would encourage you to do is to really step up and to say, hey, look, you know what? This is it. This is my time. Okay. I'm going to make a commitment right now that I'm going to get out of my comfort zone. And hey, look, you know what? It's not going to be easy. Okay. But if it was easy, more people would have the things in life that, you know, that, that, that most people only dream of. And it's not just about the materialistic things. A lot of you are going to be like, oh my God, it, 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 for, for real. I want you guys to understand something. To me, it's not even about that. You understand? I don't even think about money. All I think about is serving people and helping people and changing people's lives. That's all I care about. I don't care about the money. Do I make a lot of it? Yeah. It's a default in his business. You automatically make a lot of money if you focus on serving other people. Right? So you can't stop the money. If you understand that it's all about going out there and getting people started and saying, hey, the smartest thing that this person can ever do is get started in my business because I'm going to go above and beyond to help them change their life. It's, a, it's by default, but you've got to get inspired first to change your life because guess what? A drowning person can't save anybody else that's drowning. Do you guys see that? 
you're no good to anybody else. So you've got to focus in on, on, guess what, taking care of yourself. So I'm going to jump into this stuff right now. How many of you are ready to change your life? If you are, say aye. aye. Then we're going to dive into this stuff here right now. Some of you understand the promise of the future, and this is for your notes in your book, and you want to make sure afterwards, right when we get done, you get, get in the back, get, get credit for the course, so you can obviously, you know, get that regional event, boom, checked off, and maybe some of you are only one, you know, regional event away and, and a couple, couple of SUs from being up here next time, getting, getting, your, getting, getting you know, your, your, your university degree. So promise of the future is an awesome force. Okay, you've got to understand that, you know what, you've got to focus in on the future. Most people, they live their life looking through the rearview mirror. They go through life with the rearview mirror. And most people go through life with the rearview mirror on, okay, looking through the rearview mirror instead of the windshield. Okay, and, they, and, they, and a lot of people, they beat themselves up. You know what I mean? About this or that or this or that. The fact of the matter is, is guess what? Yesterday ended last night, so it's time to move forward and focus in on today right now what you can do to have that better tomorrow. So make sure that you are focusing in on the promise of the future because it's an awesome force. Number two is reasons make the difference on how your life works out. If you can come up with enough reasons, you can revolutionize your life. But if you're short on reasons, you'll be short on answers. So focus in on the reasons, man. It's all about the reasons. What reason do you want to, what, what reason do you have to want to have a, the, you know, a better quality of life? Reasons make the difference for your notes. Now, next thing is simply this. Now, and next thing and number three is this. Okay, is, is, is make sure the strongest pull on you is the pull of the future, okay? Make sure the strongest pull on you is the pull of the what? Future, man. You got to get inspired by the future. Let the future inspire you. Get fired up, man. You know, every day when I wake up, I, I, I don't like sleeping. Okay, I don't enjoy sleeping. Okay, why? Because my, my, my reality is a heck of a lot better than anything I could ever dream. Okay, so every day I wake up, it's like, man, I can't wait to get this sleep stuff over so I can have more reality. <laughs> so how do you do that, man? You got to get excited about where you're going. I get excited because I know that somebody's life's going to change in here today, man. Somebody's going to become not just wealthy, but they're going to become an unbelievable person. They're going to be an unbelievable, you know, just a better person. Right? Be able to have better communication skills and better leadership skills to be able to change people's lives and help people out and serve them. And it's going to be a decision that's made here tonight. How, I can't... I don't know how you couldn't get fired up about that. I don't know how you couldn't get excited knowing that there's people in this room right now today who are never going to be the same after today. That fires me up. That gets me out of control excited. Now, there's also people in this room that are going to walk out of here the same way that they came in here. That's just the reality. Why? Because guess what? Some of you aren't ready for it, right? You're not ready to make a decision yet. You're not ready to, to get your mind into a situation in a state where you can have everything in life that you want. So I would encourage you now to make that decision here and be, oh, look, I'm going to take advantage of this window of opportunity and step up. Dreams and goals can become magnets, okay? Dreams and goals can become magnets. The stronger the goal is, the stronger the pull is on your life. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that today on this goal setting workshop. So I want to just dive into it. I mean, I, I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about this. I want to get right into it, okay? And here, here's where it starts off at, is this. And the, the, the step number one, some of you will do this like so easy, and some of you will have challenges with this, okay? Give yourself credit, before, uh, give yourself credit for the past before you go to work on the future, okay? Go, give yourself credit for what you've already accomplished. A lot of times people don't do that, and that's the reason why they don't get better things in life, because they're not excited about what they've done so far. You've got to get excited and give yourself credit for where you are right now. Give yourself credit for what you've already accomplished in life. You can't ever achieve more if you're not excited about where you are right now. And somebody goes, well, how can I be excited, Tim? Man, I'm right now in a bad situation. You know, I've got this, and I got that, and I got this, and I got that. Well, guess what? Get excited because you're here. Give, get excited because you have an opportunity. Every challenge, every difficulty is a challenge, and every challenge is an opportunity, an opportunity for you to get better. So step up here today and say, hey, look, you know what? We're, we're, you know, let's, what am I excited about right now? So here's what it is. Give yourself credit for the past. Write down five things on your paper right there. It says one, two, three, four, five. Write down five things that you've already accomplished that you're proud of. What five things have you already done that you're proud of? Just write down one, two, three, four, five. And just write down some things, okay? What have you already done? Get excited about it. Get excited about what you've already accomplished in life. And, I, and for some people, man, that's so easy for them to do. And then other people, they have struggles with this. And it, and it has to do with your self-esteem. And get, just give yourself credit, man. You know, just the fact that you, you, know, you survived one out of 40 million sperm to be born is ridiculous. <laughs> like, that's like every morning, I'm like, dude, I'm such a champion. I beat 40 million. That's not even like, the, that's like harder than the Olympics. You know what I mean? It's like, put me on a Wheaties box. You know what I mean? <laughs> we all need to be, right? The fact of the matter is there's been over 5 billion people that walked this planet, but there's only been one you. 
you know, you, you, you're the most important person in your life, so you've got to focus in on you. Now, somebody goes, well, no, it's, I'm not the most important person in my life. My kids are, or my wife is, or my husband is, but the fact of the matter is, is guess what? If you, we make you better, and it's not about self-sacrifice, about self-investment, if you become better, you can help everybody. So just focus in on, on growing yourself so you can change more people's lives. So what have you already done that you're proud of? What five things have you already accomplished that you're proud of? All right, and I know some of you right now, you've already got that done, so we're gonna move forward. If you still are working on that, you can jump back to it, because those things will pop up in your head. You're like, oh my God. For me, it was silly things, man. I didn't do much before I got involved in, the, in my first goal setting workshop. I didn't accomplish much. Mine was like, I got a third place ribbon in track and field. Third place, I was jacked up about that. That's why, I mean, I was like, sorry, I never, I didn't do anything, but I was like writing it down, and it inspired me to go out there and say, hey, look, you know what, I have done some things that you know are, are, are good, and then it made me realize that I was able to accomplish more. So let's get into step two. This is the fun Part. This is the most challenging part for some of you, man. You, this is going to be difficult, but I can tell you right now it's going to be worth it. So let's dive into this. Step number two, okay? Step number two is simply this, is, is, is designing the next 10 years of your life, okay? Don't think about what you think you can achieve, but think about what you, you, if you think about what you want if everything came together for you, okay? What, what do you want in the next 10 years, okay? What do you want in the next 10 years? Think about this, okay? And just start writing down a list of, of 50 things on that paper right there, 50 things. And once you have 50, I want you to stand up. Yeah, I want you to stand up once you've done 50. Okay, so write down that paper. Write, just start writing down everything that you can think of. Don't, don't think about, oh, I think I can do this, or I think I can. I think I can do this. I think I can. Don't think like that. Just think that skies are the limit, man. Just start writing down anything, man. Think about places that you want to travel to, you know? Think about places you want to travel to. If you, you, know, you know, you need to think of some places that you need to travel to. Talk to, talk to Patty McPherson. She could probably make a list of 50 places that she wants to travel back to. <laughs> <laughs> right? So maybe you want to go to Jamaica, right? Maybe you want to go to Jamaica. Maybe you want to go to, uh, maybe you want to go to Hawaii. Maybe you want to go to, uh, you know, maybe you want to take your kids on the Disney vacation to Castaway Key, the little Disney island off the Bahamas, right? What do you want to do? Maybe you want to go to uh, Tenerife, right? Somebody I know, I was talking to one of my buddies uh, who's in the room today, Ronan, who just got back from, from Tenerife and, uh, you know, Canary Islands. And uh, it's an unbelievable place to go. You know, maybe you want to go there. Maybe you want to go to Rome and see the Colosseum. Maybe you want to see the Eiffel Tower. Maybe you want to see the Great Wall of China. Maybe you want to see the Dead Sea. Maybe, what do you, just think about where are places you'd like to travel? Where are 50 places? And as soon as you have your list of 50, just stand up and, and, and uh, recognize that. So think about places you want to travel. Things that you want to do for other people. What are some things for other people that you want to do? Just start writing these things down. What are things that you'd like to do for someone else? Maybe you want to take your, your wife or your girlfriend on a, on a shopping spree. Maybe you want to, you know, take your, your, you know, your husband on a shopping spree. Maybe you want to, you know, take your, you know, a family member, uh, you know, on a, on a trip. What are some things that you want to do for other people? Okay. What are some things that you want to do for other people? Think about things that you'd like to do for other people. What would you like to give? What would you like to, what would you like to do to help someone else out? Okay. Now think about just write down some fitness goals right now. You know, for me, I, you know, I, I had to revisit some of my fitness goals, man, because I was out of control. Fitness lies, man. I was, I was gaining weight at a rapid rate, you know? I was like, man, I need to stop gaining so much weight. So I stopped eating so much. So just, you know, I had to write down some fitness goals that I had to reevaluate, re right? Maybe watches, man. Some of you I know are big fans of watches. What type of watches do you want to get? Okay? Maybe it's you, there's, you know, maybe there's some watches that you like to get. Maybe there's some boats you'd like to get. Maybe you want to get a jet ski or maybe you want to get a, a yacht or maybe you want to get one of those um, ski boats or whatever. Now some of you are like, well, you know what? I don't need much. Well, then the problem with that is you don't need, then you don't have to become much. Because then life is not what you get, it's what you become in pursuit of what you want that's the most valuable part. So you might as well just go ahead and achieve a lot so you can become a great person, you know? So that's what I would encourage you to do. So write down some boats that you want to get, right? Maybe there's some boats you want to get, some jet skis or sea doos or whatever. Maybe there's some clothes that you want to get, man. Maybe that, you know, you, you, know, you, you want to get some new clothes, right? Maybe you're like, man, I want to get a new wardrobe. Maybe I want to go get some suits. Maybe I want to go get a Versace suit, right? Or maybe I want to go get some, you know, go see Tony the, and, or, you know, go see uh, Rocky the tailor. This guy, you know, Rocky does some in, incredible, incredible stuff. Uh, make you some custom clothes. Maybe planes. Maybe you want to get a plane or a helicopter. Um, if you may, maybe, you know, you don't have a, a jet or something. Now, understand that if, if you write something down, you might, doesn't necessarily mean you have to do it. Do you guys get what I'm saying? A lot of times that's what I think people think. It's like, oh, I have to do it. You know, it's not even like that. There were some things that I wanted to, that I had on my list, and then I scratched them off my list because I realized that I didn't want it anymore. So just don't worry about it, okay? Just write down your, good job, you guys. Mason, Zach, good job. Good job, way to step up. Just remain standing if you guys could, Zach and Mason. We're going to get everybody standing here. Real estate. Where are some places? 
places you'd like to own some property. Maybe you want to get a house in Maui and a house in, uh, you know, Portlock and, you know, in, in, on Oahu and have a helicopter pad and boom, you know, be able to take your helicopter from your house in Portlock to your place in Maui. So you can just put that on your list. Um, maybe you want to get a house in Miami, right? Maybe you want to get a house in, you know, maybe you want to get a, a, a trip to outer space. Jamie! <laughs> Right? Maybe you want to take a trip to outer space. What are you waiting for? But think about real estate, right? Maybe you want to, where, where, where would you like to own some homes at? Okay? Just write down five places you want to, that, you know, if you, had a, if you if were forced to buy 10 homes right now, where would you buy the 10 homes? Right? Cars. Maybe you want to get some new cars. Maybe you're into cars. What's a car that you want to get? Maybe, you know, you, some of you probably could probably make a list of 50 cars that you want to get. Okay? Maybe you want to get a car. Maybe there's some projects you want to support. Maybe you want to help out with breast cancer or maybe you want to help out with, you know, whatever it is uh, that you're, you know, you're really passionate about, you know. Maybe you want to help out, you know, kids in Africa, right, that, that, you know, with the, with the project, you know. So think about what you want to do, man. What do you want to do that, to help other people out? Projects that you'd like to support, okay? Things for other people. Think about positions within secret that you want to achieve. Maybe you want to become a, maybe you want to become a crown, you know. Maybe you want to become a crown. Maybe you want to become a diamond, you know. Maybe you want to become a star builder. Realize that, it, you understand, it's not about uh, all I just want all the best stuff because you got to have some right now goals too because that's what's going to inspire you to take action today. A lot of times people can think about that stuff 10 years from now, but it's really, you want to have a, a wide variety of goals. You want to have some goals this week. You want to have some goals today, right? What do you want to do right now? So maybe you want to become a star. Maybe you want to become a superstar. Maybe you want to get the Louis Vuitton shoes that the company has given out this month in the summer of elegance. Maybe, you know, maybe you want to get that. Maybe, you know, maybe get some brand new, you know, maybe Louis Vuitton belt. You know, they have, they're giving away Louis Vuitton belts too, you know, so maybe you want to get one of those. Maybe a new, um, you know, a vacation, right? Whatever. Skills that you want to acquire. Maybe you want to learn how to effectively communicate. Maybe you want to become a better communicator. Maybe you want to set a goal. When I got involved, I, there was a guy that I looked up to and I bet I want to be able to speak better than this guy. I want to be able to present better than this guy. Maybe you want to become more effective at, at your presentation skills. Good job, Carlo. Right on. Good job. Good job, you guys that are already doing phenomenal. Back there, awesome. On fire. Everybody's doing great. So just start thinking about it, okay? Think about what you want. Maybe you want to become, uh, you know, the number one money earner in the company. Maybe you want to become, you know, uh, maybe you want to open up some new countries for Secret. Maybe you want to help Secret open up Korea, right, or, or the Philippines, or China, or you know, or Hong Kong, or you know, Vietnam, or maybe, you know, uh, you know, uh, Brazil. You think about places that you'd like to go. Colombia, maybe. Think about places that you'd like to open up. Good job, Andrew. Good job. Awesome. Good job, everybody. You guys are working hard. I've never seen people work this hard. This is ridiculous. Unbelievable. Right on. Write down some income goals. Maybe you want to, you know, make five thousand a month, or ten thousand a month, or twenty thousand a month, or hundred thousand a month. You can set multiple goals. You can have a goal to set, make a thousand a month, and then five thousand, and then ten thousand, and then a hundred thousand. It's okay to do that. You know. Maybe you want to get an electric car. Right. How about the environment? You know. Good job. Everybody's doing great. Maybe you want to get a brand new phone. Maybe you want to get a new iPad, right? Maybe you want to get a new laptop, or maybe you want to get, what, you know, think about some things that you want right now, you know? Maybe you want to go, you know, take somebody on a nice date. Maybe there's somebody that you want to go on a date with, put that on your list, right? Whatever you want, you know, it's your, it's your list. Some, some people put revenge on their list. I had some revenge on mine. <laughs> I had to put it in code. I had some stuff in code. <laughs> Right? Oh, man. Oh, man. Some of you know. I know the leaders know the ESMM story, man. She was on my list. <laughs> There's some people, man, at the beginning when I first got in the industry that pumped me up by telling me I couldn't do it. So just think about what you want. Say, you know what, and this is your list, okay? Think about what you want, because this is the most important thing is this. You know, maybe you want to, you know, maybe you want to coach, uh, you know, a football team. You know, some of you guys know I'm, I'm coaching my son. My five-year-old starts football on August 2nd. And, you know, my, my, my other guy, my older one, my 13-year-old, he, he just got done. So I'm, I can't wait to coach his football team, man. And my goal is to take those guys to Florida every year. Make sure every year we, we dominate Pop Warner when I'm playing games. So just set some goals, man. What do you want? It doesn't have to be, you know, maybe you want to graduate college or maybe you want to go to, you know, maybe you want to learn a second language. Maybe you want to learn sign language, right? You know, maybe you want to learn um, how to speak another language, man. Maybe you want to learn how to speak Spanish or Korean or, you know, speak another language. Think about it. So just write down your list. Good job. Everybody's doing great. Oh, man, unbelievable. Wow. Oh, gosh. Good job. Oh, unbelievable. Everybody's doing great. Excellent. 
Good job, man. Seriously, what an awesome. I've never seen a group work this hard. Usually there's like three or four people that are just kind of sitting there with a bad attitude, but this is like the entire room is like dedicated. What a great group, man. I like this group. Think about what you want to achieve. What do you want to do? What do you want to have? What do you want to see? Maybe you want to go um, scuba dive in Aruba, right? Maybe you want to go uh, horseback riding, right? What do you want to do? Maybe you want to buy a horse. Gas prices are pretty aggressive, you know, maybe a horse might work, right? <laughs> Think about it. Think about what you, maybe you want to get, uh, you know, what do you want to do? Think about it. It's your list. Put some silly things on there. It doesn't even matter. You know? For me, I, get, I put stupid stuff on my list, dude. You don't even know. Like, I'm like, for me, I've got like a, I, I hate not having socks. You know what I mean? I hate not having socks. So I just, you know, it was like, man, I want a thousand socks. You know what I mean? That all are the same so my wife can't mix them up on me. You know what I mean? She gets tricky sometimes. <laughs> I can't find them and I get all frustrated. So I was like, boom, I always want a bunch of socks, you know? So whatever, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? It's your list. <laughs> all right. Good job, man. Maybe there's some, you know, maybe you want to be able to run a four minute mile. That'd be a good idea. Maybe you want to put some things on there that you know, that you know, that are some, um, you know, some, some, some resolutions, right? You know, some resolution goals, right? What do you want to, what do you want to not do? Maybe you want to get a, you know, stop uh, doing this or stop doing that. Think about what you want. Maybe there's some, some stuff that, you know, that, that are resolution goals. Maybe you want to get a house in Montana next to a tranquil stream. You know what I mean? So you guys are doing a great job, man. Give yourselves all a round of applause for working so hard. <laughs> keep on working on this, man. Keep on working on this. We're going to keep moving forward because i got to move into this next part. Because, but it, it, here's the deal. Keep on going. I know some of you like one away and everything. Just keep on going. That's awesome. We're going to come back to it. Just keep on going, okay? And, and this stuff is stuff that you want to do with other people too. Right? Maybe if you're, if you're married, you want to do this stuff with your wife. You want to do it. You know, I, I have goals with my, when we sit down with my wife and I'm like, boom, let's map out what we want to do. Sit down with my kids. What do we want to do? Right? I do goal setting with everybody, man. My, even my five-year-old, right? He knows, boom, we got some goals, right? So you got you to gotta, gotta have some goals, okay? So here, here, here's the next thing that we're going to do is, is right next to there, there's a little blank, okay? And when you go back to the first part where it says goal number one, it says one, three, five, or 10. And what that means is, do you think this is a one-year goal, a three-year goal, a five-year goal, or a 10-year goal? It's no big deal. It's no pressure. But just write down, hey, this is probably a one, this is a three, this is a five, this is a 10. And just go through all the, all the goals that you have right now, and then just put a one, three, five, or 10 next to them. If it's like a 20-year goal, you're like, oh, I want to you know, go to the moon, but I think it's going to take me 20 years, then you know what I mean? Just put 10 on there. It doesn't matter. Just, this, is not, this is not that important. It's just going to help you understand who you are and help you understand, hey, I need to focus in on more of these goals. Because if you've got a lot of one-year goals, but not a lot of 10-year goals, I can tell you what type of person you are, okay? If you have a lot of 10-year goals and not a lot of one-year goals, I can tell you what type of person you are. So you've got to learn. For me, I was always that, you know, I had a ton of one-year goals, man. I was like a you know, a sprinter, but I wasn't, you know, I didn't have that long-term vision, so I had to learn how to get a lot of 10-year goals to start thinking bigger, you know, but some people, they're really good at 10-year goals, they don't have a lot of one-year goals, and they're more motivated long-term, but they're not motivated in the short-term, so you've got to, you've got to have a, a, a multitude of things on your list, so it'll give you insight to yourself, it's not something you need to post and show around, like, hey, look at me, I've got a bunch of, you know, or just get, get, you know, take a look at it, let's write down one, three, five, or 10, and once you do that, just go ahead and stand up. Yeah, and even if, you, even if you've only got 20 goals uh, towards your 50, you can still stand up as soon as you got one, three, five, or 10 next to your 20 goals. We're just gonna run through them. Good job, Caleb. Excellent. Oh, good job. You guys are working hard. I can't believe this. Excellent. What a hard working group, man. I really appreciate you guys working hard. I mean, that's what it takes, man. It takes, it takes hard work, you know, and dedication, and you guys are dedicated and working hard. I appreciate that. One, three, five, or 10. So the one year goal, three year goal, hmm, one, three, five, or 10. One, three, five, or 10. Excellent, good job, guys. Wow, you guys are working hard. Oh, 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 oh. I appreciate that. Unbelievable. I've never seen such a good group. What an amazing group. Good, good job. 
Awesome, awesome. Well, okay, keep keep move, keep working on that. Okay, but let's move forward. I want to get into this part right here. What you want to do right now is is grab the four most important one year goals. So look at your list and say what are the four most important one year goals, and then write them down there for step number four. What are the four most important one year goals? And some of you've done this before. You've been through you know you you know the late Jim Rohn had these leaders. It's all this is all Jim Rohn stuff. It's not like I came up with this stuff. This is all Jim Rohn weekend stuff, weekend seminar. So write down the four most important one-year goals. You know, just whatever they are, just boom, boom, boom. Put those four right there for step number four. And then on step number five, what you want to do is, is simply purpose is stronger than object. You guys all know that, okay? Always keep in mind that when the why gets strong, the how gets easy. So wh why are these four goals important to you? Just real quickly, briefly, just write down, hey, you know, if you want to get, you know, maybe you want to retire your, you know, you, you want to retire your wife. Hey, I want to retire my wife because, boom, you know, uh, uh, because I know that it's going to add, you know, it's going to, you know, it's going to make her a lot, you know, it's going to make me feel good, you know, to be able to do it. Maybe you want to get a brand new car. How's it going to make you feel? It's not so much what you want, it's why you want the what you want that's important. So why do you, why do you want these four goals? Four, four goals so bad. Why are these four goals so important? And once you have this, just stand up. I want to see who's really working hard. Unbelievable. You guys are already done with this stuff. You guys are just moving forward. I like this group. Well, I'm going to keep going. I don't want to even slow you guys down, man. That's us on fire. You guys are like, come, the fire marshal was here earlier looking for you guys. Okay, what, what you become in pursuit of what you want is the most valuable part of achievement. So on your, on your list there, set goals of what you want to become. What you achieve will help you to become. What you become will help you to achieve. Okay, so write a descriptive paragraph to, describing what type of person must I become to achieve all that I want. This is the most important part. This is the reason why we do this entire exercise. This is the reason why right here. It's the whole reason why you do this entire exercise for this one moment right here. Why, why do you, you know, what type of person must you become to achieve all that you want? That's where you say, okay, look, you know what? In order for me to get this stuff that I want, I've got to focus in on this. I've got to raise my level of leadership. I've got to raise my level of influence. I've got to raise my level of, you know, urgency. I've got to raise my level of what? You know, I've got to raise my level of intensity. I've got to, you know, start being fearless, you know, and start going after it. You know, I've got to start getting more passionate. I've got to start taking more action. I've got to become more disciplined. You know, I've got to become more focused. I've got to get more committed. I've got to get more organized. I've got to, what do you need to do right now in order for you to be, you know, be able to achieve all that you want? What type of person must I become to achieve all that I want? And once you have this done, just go ahead and stand up too. And if you're back on the other, you know, this is keep moving forward. This guy's on fire, man. Unbelievable. You guys are working hard. I appreciate that. What a dedicated group of people. Dedicated to your dreams. That's amazing. Unbelievable. Good job, Henry. Nice work. What an amazing group. And we're going to keep moving forward then since you guys are keep, keeping so. And I know some of you might be a little bit behind. Hey, guys, what? Just keep on keeping on. Now, he, here's what I want to do real quickly, okay? The, 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 even if you guys are still on step number three, okay? Just con this, the, I want you guys to think about this part right here, okay? This is called the rocking chair test right here. And high achievers have the ability to be able to reach into the future for inspiration. High achievers have the ability to be able to reach into the future for inspiration. So we're going to do something called the rocking chair test right now. And I need everybody, even the cool people, to participate on this one, okay? The rocking chair, 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 chair test, okay? Here's what it is, okay? I need everybody to close their eyes, okay? Okay. Let, close your eyes for a second. Now, now if, if not for the for the for Don's group, you guys don't close your eyes, okay? Visualize yourself in the future in a rocking chair. So just kind of go there mentally. Close your eyes and go there mentally, okay? And visualize yourself in the future. Long time from now, you're in a rocking chair, okay? And imagine you look back on on, on uh, look back and, and you've accomplished all of your goals. Everything that you wanted to do, you were able to do it. So just imagine, you know, go there right now. Imagine how it would feel. You're just sitting there on the you know on your porch and you're rocking and you're looking back at your life and you're like, man, I accomplished everything. I did it all. Think about how that's going to feel, okay? You know, how, how would you feel inside, man? How would it, you know, how great would it be to be able to look back and say, man, everything I did, I mean, I, I was able to do it all, okay? Now, I want you guys to change that up for a second. Now, now you're looking back on, now, now let's go back to that same rocking chair. Keep your eyes closed. We're back in that rocking chair. Now visualize that you didn't. Now you visualize you didn't.
dreams and goals. Man, you look back with, a, with regret. You look back and say, man, I wish I would have got a little bit more serious. I wish I would have given it a little bit more. I wish I would have made those decisions. I wish I would have got a little bit more passionate, more disciplined. And you're looking back with regret because you didn't, you didn't do it all. You didn't go for it. You let fear conquer you instead of you conquer it. Okay, so you know, give yourselves a round of applause. Though. You guys did a great job. You guys did a great job. Now, here, here, here's, um, we're going to get into this, okay? Now, in that, in ask yourself, where would you rather be? How would you rather feel? Would you rather be fired up and excited about what you've done in life? Or would you like look back with regret, knowing that this is your chance to make it happen, that this is your life? So you guys... Are